Alexa, who's the boss? I was built by Amazon, but I'm here to help you. That is crazy that she didn't say me, but we already know. We already know who the boss is around here, man. We already know that. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Norman Reed, and today we have a quick video on box braids. If y'all didn't notice, I got some box braids done. Shout out to Mom Dukes for that. Um, I know I've been off YouTube for like a week, and I apologize for that. I'm going to try to post every single day this week or every other day, depending on my level of production today. Uh, it was the time of this recording, Monday, July 5th. Yesterday was July 4th. It was, it was like MW2... It was like Chirac, it was like, it was giving very much like a war zone outside because people don't know how to act in the Bronx. It's crazy. Anyways, with that being said though, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell down below so you don't miss another video. Today, I'm going to talk to you about four particular artists and how they style their box braids or just braids in general and how they incorporate that within their fashion sense. With that being said though, let me talk to you and show you these artists man so in general so as you can see from my screen um, in general you can have like different designs on a braids like this you can have like a little fade on the side like a little taper fade you can have long box braids like this particular person he's trying to in, um, imitate ASAP Rocky because that's his signature like how he styles that like a little um what do you call that a little like ponytail to the side you're gonna have box braids with just a high top fade, cut uh, like an undercut, taper, um, front hairline, and stuff like that. Um, what else I wanted to point out, just in general, just in general, um, before I dive deep into what I'm talking about, or t before I dive deep into these artists in general. Yeah, you can have like fades underneath, braids on top, that's a good clean look. Shout out to my son Ricky Thompson, he has like regular box braids with a mean undercut underneath that suits him but my bro he ditched the hair life and went straight to went back to the the clean cut so yeah this is just in general like braids on individuals i don't know what he's doing anyways child that's crazy so let me talk about the first person so we talk about travis scott all right so i already know who travis scott is he's a rapper he's a fashion i guess icon in this modern culture or whatever and his signature look is just, I think, like four box braids. Uh, as you can see from this image, like he has like just big parts and braids coming down. Um, what else I wanted to point out in general? So yeah, big box braids all around his head. He has a mean taper, a mean undercut too. Uh, like modern people, not modern people. Nowadays, I've seen a lot of people at the front hairline taper and. It all depends on how how your barber blesses you because if that drawing looks bad, it looks horrible. But in this case, it looks pretty nice, pretty neat. Um, but hold on, hold on. He also got his like his daughter Stormy with the box braid vibes. Got to teach them young for the for the culture for that. So yeah, this is just how he styles his stuff. See how the braids just ties in everything. Even though he doesn't have a cut or like a fade, it still looks good. So that's just. Travis Scott on a on a, like a, a general basis. So let's talk about the fashion that he brings in with his um this hairstyles. Okay, so let's open up this image real quick. Man of many, shout out to them. Anyway, so as I previously mentioned, he has a mean undercut. Um, I don't think he does phase. He, I think he just cuts it even all around and calls that John a day. But yeah, as you can see here, like he can dye, he dyes his hair. It kind of matches his outfit a little bit. Like he has, um, I think, what do you call those? I'll probably pop them up like right here, what the name of those shoes or the name of those dunks are. But that's besides the point. Like he has blonde tips, black hair, um, a nice fade, nice hairline, nice shape ups, casual. Um, his outfit goes crazy like the blonde somewhat matches his shoes right down here if y'all can peep that again he has his hair he doesn't have a fade with this he just has it out he has it growing out it matches his fit pretty nice supreme shirt regular um i don't know expensive chains or whatever um a flannel and black leather pants and i think those are the 
What do you call those Johns? I think those are the Spider-Man ones. Could be or just the regular Chicago ones, depending on what you're looking at. Um, he has his Astro World um, shirt underneath again, flannel. All three of these, I'm just noticing it's just flannel. It's like very much skater-esque. Uh, I'm trying to find more images or more, yeah, more images. This is like more, I guess, New York City fashion right now. Like these two particularly, like vintage T. He has the Acura. I think, I think that's a famous um, anime. I think I need to rewatch that because it's just, it's vague. I know this power slide thing is very famous. I might incorporate a clip like right here. But yeah, this is just a typical New York like fashion. Like, um, I don't say baggy jeans, but like slim fitting pants um, with drawstrings. He has like the, the new fourth that just came out not too long ago. And again, he has the vintage tee with his chains on with the hair as well. He has nice big um, plaits with that. What else? What else? Let me try to. I think this is just his like his look. This right here. This don't this don't give off Travis Scott at all. Even though he has like two big braids in the back, that's not his image right there. In my personal opinion, he his image is just he's recognizable with the box braids. And yeah, that's pretty, basically it. Like it just fits his whole like. I don't know, persona he's trying to give off to the public. Like, look at this if it loads in. Like, yeah, like, nice earth tones, black leather pants again. I think those are some just regular white shoes. Maybe some designer shoes, I'm not quite sure. Um, I know these are like Pharrell type of, um, Pharrell type of chains. But again, like, he has his nice little fade. Got the box weight going. And yeah, that's just Travis Scott. Like, if you look at him or just look at, like, his head shape with the braids, you can blur out his face, you can definitely know that's Travis right there. I'll give it one more image in general. Like, yeah, that fits him. Got the threes on, got some cargo pants, a vest, I think a, a regular watch, a nice little undershirt, not undershirt, but a nice little t-shirt, and that's it. That's his whole, his vibe with his, um, with his hair in general. So, let's talk about artist number two. So, we got... ASAP Rocky. So, how the distinction between ASAP Rocky and Travis is that ASAP has a full, um, what do you call that? A full head of hair. He doesn't have a fade. Um, he does get like lineups and stuff like that, but I don't, those don't consider as like fades in general. It's just a lineup. So, like, again, like with his fashion style, so we, we can see that Travis was like more like urban, like more, I don't know. I guess like typical if that makes sense but high-end if that also makes sense as well but with ASAP he has like more of like a charisma with how he styles his hair in general and his fashion too so as I was talking about like he has two braids he has box braids of course obviously but he has two braids hanging in the front and he has the rest of his hair either um, in the back or sometimes on the side I think um, so you can see from this image right here uh, what else? What else? Sometimes he has more than two braids hanging off. Uh, yeah, so like he has a full, full head of hair. That's why his braids are so long. But like this is basically like his go to style like a ponytail in the back, a couple of braids hanging down in the front. Um, yeah, that's just his vibes in general. And sometimes he has all of it pulled back, even though like his hair is messy. I'm gonna say messy, but like. Is he has a lot of new growth, it still looks good because now he has it all back um, all together. Um, yeah, that's just ASAP. Like, again, as I previously mentioned in the, um, when I was talking about Travis, like, when he switches up his hairstyles, it don't give off that ASAP look, if that makes sense. Like, when I look at him right now, I'm like, is that ASAP? Mm, I don't know. Like, even though I know that it's ASAP, like, is not given off that he is him because his persona and like his image is from these box braids like these is tough and oh he has like um little beads on the end we're gonna get we're, we're gonna talk about that soon because that also adds some pizzazz and spice to your style in general so that's just his hairstyle in general let's talk about his hairstyle with his trip so so his outfits right again as i previously mentioned 
he has more charisma and a little bit more like swaggered when he incorporates his style or with his style in general so as you can see like he has what do you call that just a button down shirt no undershirt a regular um tennis chain some floral pants and some white i think some white blazers or it could be some white um stan smiths or just regular white shoes or a designer i don't know i'm on that tax bracket yet so anyways so yeah like his style is like more elegant like he has a tie-dye tie-dye shirt or tie-dye um uh, sweatshirt um he got like um a nice little dress shirt underneath got some I'm not even sure what the type of pants these are, but they're kind of tough. I mean, he finished off the look with just some um, Air Forces. But again, like he has one braid down and the rest of his hair up. That kind of gives off a, like more of a, I guess, a professional look in general. Like he also has this one. He has like, I don't know, like a British style look to it. Um, got the trousers going, got a blazer or a jacket in general. Got some, I think those are some Doc Martens or some like on uh, um, high-end brand again it gives off more of like a, a classy more put together look in comparison to like if you just have more if you just have box braids straight down like for example like this like this one if it can load and not be fuzzy okay so he has like a mink jacket on a nice undershirt looks like lemon grab low-key even though he's not yellow anyway shop and yeah like this if you look at this picture compared to that last image I just showed you, which was where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Compared to this one, that that the lemon grab shirt image kind of looks less professional than this one. Even though I think that's what he was going for with this particular image, but that's besides the point. Though. But yeah, this is just ASAP style. ASAP style in general. He can also go with the streetwear vibes, but with this. He's got a Jordan um, baseball tee, got some nice bracelets on, black pants, and he has his hair back. Casual, very, very casual. So yeah, that's just different ways you can rock this regular box braids. But let me talk to you about, let me talk to you about, let me talk to you about my son, Lil Uzi. So, Lil Uzi, if I don't know, he used to rock um, dreads. Then he was like, nah, I'm not gonna rock drugs anymore. I think he called them out. Then he started rocking like the, the two signature braids in the back. Then he went into the Cosmo vibes and all that stuff. I might I might do that then. So yeah. As I mentioned before, um this was um Lil Uzi after he took out his dreads and he just rocked like a clean fade underneath, as you can see right here, with the braids on top. I think this was the I know this was a GQ um he did this style for GQ and but I'll tell you that fade was crispy crispy anyways so he has two braids straight back um something casual I didn't mean to open that on this image he has box braids shout out to future the most toxic man in the universe but yeah he's the most toxic man in the universe anyways so he has so Lil Uzi got the pop smokes going on like he just has regular braids going, like, what do you call it? Like, east to west, east to west. Um, for some reason, I don't know directions like that. That's why I use Google Maps, because I be getting lost everywhere I go. Anyways, so yeah, he has the braids going from left to right, basically. He has his hair growing out underneath, and even though it's growing out, it still looks put together. Like, even when he takes out his braids and, like, does the curls or whatever, it's still going to look nice. Um... Da, 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 da. Again, like he likes color, so he incorporates color, and when he does that, it low-key matches his outfits. So let's talk about that right now. So again, this was the look that he had for GQ, not this particular like outfit with like the American flag. I'm not quite sure what um, nation or what flag that is from. I should research that. But he has like a leather jacket on. I think he has a goyard. Goyard green bag. Um, I think this is a, like a soccer team's um, jersey underneath that with some black pants. There's a lot going on, but it also looks really good together. Even like the the braids in general, it gives it a nice clean look. Um, what else? What else? I'm trying to find like this one. Even though he has the same braids, straight backs. He got some Louis Vuitton 
shoes, bag, I think that's the LV um, varsity jacket. Uh, I think those are some off-white pants or just regular white pants, but I'm pretty sure those are not white pants. Got a nice Cuban on and some shades. It all looks pretty clean. And the braids sets it off. Even if he had just like regular, I don't know, dreads like this one, it kind of wouldn't give off the same vibe if he didn't, if he had dreads instead of braids, if that makes sense. But anywho, that's just a little Uzi Sashin That's a little bit out there, a little bit, a bit of pizzazz. Again, he got like a Mary Had a Little Lamb um, shirt on, pink pants, some lemons in his hand, a bust down Roly, I think. Um, jewelry on and a clean fade with braids on. Looks really put together. I'm also into photography, so like this, um, this image in general, just regardless of if it was Uzi or not, this image altogether looks pretty tough. Might have to. Do some research on who shot that. G I might have to look into GQ because that's pretty tough. Anyways, so that's just Lil Uzi's fashion. That's his braids. So let's talk about another famous rapper that has braids in general. Let's talk about my son Lil Yachty. Okay, so Lil Yachty's his look has changed over the years, but it's still stayed the same. If that makes sense. So like he started off with um, his, his red braids. Excuse me. His red box braids with beads on top. I know I was gonna talk about the beads again. Yeah, but y'all paying attention? I think y'all were. Anyway, so we had he has like the red box braids going on with the beads on top. It gives like a different style, different vibe because most men. I'm not trying to put men into like a box or whatever, but like most men typically don't wear beads in, in their hair. But like he brought it back, and it's low key a vibe. It's it's a it's a vibe. Again, like this, it's like he freshly um, dyed his hair because his roots is not black, even though he has black hair. Anyways, um, yeah, pretty nice, pretty tough. Again, um, what I mentioned with um, ASAP, to make your braids stand out a little bit, you can put them to the side, um, as he has right here with like little um, elastics. Put them to the side, have some braids hanging down in the front. Oh, I didn't mean to open that. Uh, has some braids down in the front. Lil Yachty copycat. I don't know about that channel. Yeah. He also rocks like the regular um, braids to the back. Again, when I look at him right now, if I didn't know that was Lil Yachty, if he dried out his face and I just look at his hair, I'll be like, that's not the, that's not him because his signature is just braids with beads um, straight down like this. Braids with beads. Pretty tough. So let's talk about his fashion sense now. So, again, he, you could style different, um, you can style your braids in different style. Whoa, that was a tongue twister. You can style your braids in different, um, ways with, like, if you just incorporate it, like, what you can call it. Elastics in the front, like, have, like, a little, um, pineapple to the sides, have, like, little pigtails or whatever. But when it comes to his style, like this one, this is really tough. I think this is when um, either he was in an interview or something. But either way, his hair grew, his box braids obviously grew longer. He still incorporates, uh, he still incorporates the beads in his hair, which is pretty tough. He has like the maroon Yankees hat, um, a nice olive shirt. I don't know what particular brand that is, but I think it says Tokyo, I believe. And, and he has a, um, a scarf on, so that's a nice, nice look um, when he has braids on. And even if you took off the hat, it would still look pretty good together. Um, disregard the foolishness, or disregard the what he's trying to give off in this video, but like a nice green outfit. I think those are a pair of Nikes. I could be, I could be completely mistaken, but I'm just gonna go off just intuition. Those can be Nikes. Um, he has a green Yankees hat on, still the same red hair with beads, and they look pretty tough. Nice little trucker-ish outfit. Um, I'm trying to put on again something a little bit out there, a little bit out there, just to you know, just to talk about this last point. Even when he wears like a monochrome outfit with all red, it still looks good, even with his braids being red in general. But yeah, like this, this is a nice, like his fashion sense matches very well when he has braids on. 
So, with that being said, though, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Um, I'm trying to drop more content on fashion, um, streetwear culture, and just in general, like more content that makes me feel happy making, and also I feel like you also enjoy watching. I know I said also a lot. My bad about that. Anyways, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell down below so you don't miss another video. So before I sign off, I want to talk to you about my shirt real quick. The drip for today, drip check. I might make that a thing every time I make a video. So drip check for today. We got an onk, an African onk. Um, shout out to my friend Chris and ASU for blessing me with this. Shout out to them. And I also want to point out my shirt in general. It says Black Solidarity Day 2018, New Slaves, The Black Homecoming. The um, image shows a person, a black person, looking into a mirror with a rock, with a watch on. My apologies for that. And on the other side of his reflection, or her reflection, I should say, it has a, um, a chain and shackle, which is pretty, pretty jarring, but pretty unique as well. And the quote below, it says, People are trapped in history, and history is trapped in them. James Baldwin. So, hopefully that quote, read into that. If y'all don't know, just tap into the consciousness. And I know I kind of got deep, so hopefully that quote makes you think about a lot of things within your mind. Anyways, so with that being said, this has been Norman Reed signing off. See you very soon. Peace.